Hello, welcome to the Gunpla Network. I'm Zeta Kai, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at what's in the box for the high grade Gundam G Self Perfect Pack. One of the many different packs for the G Self from the show Reconquista in G or G Reco. Whatever you think of the show, many people can agree that a lot of the designs are beautiful, and the G Self is no exception. I think it's one of the most unique Gundam designs in all of the Gundam multiverse. And this kit was released in 2015 and sells for a suggested yen price of 2,750 yen. Let's take a look at the box. So the first thing you're going to notice is this incredible box art. The box art for the entire G Reco line is very sensational, very kind of uh, in your face and something different from all the other high grades on the shelf, which is kind of the whole conceit of G Reco. It's something different and the kits bear that out even in the box design. There you can see released in 2015 and we'll turn it over to the side of the box. So the perfect pack kind of combines the abilities of all the other previous packs for Bellary and has all of their abilities all kind of smashed and combined into one. So it's very impressive and super awesome looking in my opinion. Yeah, you're going to struggle to make the beam rifle look like that, especially right out of the box. So one thing that these G self kits suffer from is an abundance of stickers. So we'll take a look at that and see how many stickers are in this kit. I can tell you there's going to be a lot. On this side of the box, you get some images of the perfect pack, our hero Bellary, and some of the story, which is uh, very convoluted. The story of G Reco. I still like the show. It is beautifully animated. Don't let people scare you off from the show just because the storyline is a little bit uh, uh, complex to say the least. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. So you're going to get a manual. Usually that's on the bottom. I moved it around. I looked at this before. And inside you're going to get some bags of parts. One, two, three, four, five, six bags of parts. This is a pretty big model kit. The box is about master grade size and there's a lot of plastic contained in here. A lot of that is the giant parts that we're going to look at soon, those blue fluorescent parts. But before we take a look at what the runners look like, I'd like to mention our sponsor for this video, and that is Canadian Gundam. CanadianGundam.com offers flat rate shipping to the United States and Canada. They also offer a private warehouse system, which is super convenient. You can put all of your orders together, all the kits you want together, hold them, and ship them all at once in one giant box. They are also constantly replenishing their supply. And if you go to CanadianGundam.com, you can use our coupon code Gunpla Network when you check out and it'll save you 10% on your order. Let them know Gunpla Network sent you. Okay, so let's take a look at the runners. First up is a polycap runner and then the F runner, which is this transparent blue color. It's very beautiful. I love this color. It's uh, it looks good. So the B runner, this is a darker red than the regular G self. It's almost like a maroon color. And other than that, it's the same. A lot of these runners are the same as the G self. We'll get to some of the bonus runners later. The C runner contains shoulder parts that you aren't going to use for this kit. You get extra shoulders for the perfect pack version of the G self and some of those backpack pieces and feet and other things. The D runner has your yellow, which has the collar and the vents front and back skirt and the chest vents, the really cool beam saber effect parts. These are the same ones from the G self and they look great. They're thin, they're round, they are unique. E runner contains a lot of the frame pieces. Uh, the arms on the G self have a nice little inner frame to them. I like that. And the knee joints also have a lot of inner frame. So this is a pretty cool high grade as far as like inner frame detail and the way you build it up. It's just a little bit different than your standard high grade Gundam kit. So now we have the A1 runner, and while this runner is the same runner that's found in the G self, it is molded in a slightly brighter white. Actually, it's a lot brighter. The G self is more of like a bone white, but the perfect pack kit, all the white is like a brilliant bright white. 
And hopefully I can show you that more in the review when I compare it to the G-Self and you'll get a better idea of just how that white is different. So we're moving on to the U-Runner. Don't see many U-Runners and this is the new parts for the Perfect Pack. You can see some big chunks here for the backpack, little organic strips and bits for that backpack as well. I think the Perfect Pack is a, a very organic looking, elegant backpack in my opinion and something again that is very unique in the whole Gundam universe. You get another U-Runner, a duplicate one, and you get a T-Runner. So here are the shoulder parts for the Perfect Pack version and some more pieces for the backpack. Uh, those shoulders have some extra little detail on them. There's a transparent blue piece that goes on each side like a little jewel that you drop in there. So that's a pretty cool design as well. You get some pieces for the shield here. The shield I think is a really nice design. I really, really like the look of the shield. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Sandrock uh, Armadillo package a little bit with those like octagonal. Were they octagons? Oh crap. Well, whatever. The W1 runner, some open hands finally for the G-Self. Some stand adapters and some more backpack pieces. Some little armature pieces for the backpack and you get a duplicate part of the backpack parts of it. The V1 runner contains more fluorescent blue, giant fluorescent blue pieces for like the reflector pack part of the perfect pack and some other translucent blue here and there for on the backpack. Very cool shapes, um, rounded off circular pieces, a very different look for a Gundam. And that V2 runner, don't get to say V2 much, when reviewing Gunpla. And a polycap runner, this is just for the backpack pieces. This one's not included in the G-Self. And your standard old stand, <laughs> standard old stand, uh, made its debut back in the Double O series. And that giant sheet of stickers. So, color accuracy is going to be a chore for any G-Self kit and the perfect pack is no exception to this rule. I think I saw somewhere there's like 82 stickers on here. It's a lot of stickers, but there are a lot of nice little color apps, which gives me an opportunity to speak about one of my favorite subjects to harp on Bandai. Where is our master grade G-Self? Imagine a master grade where you wouldn't need to use all those stickers for color correctness. Just imagine, imagine that world. So let's take a look at the manual. Uh, the manual is your standard manual for anything in the g Reco line. It looks like any other manual in that line. It might look a little different from the high-grade manuals that you've done if you haven't done any from this series, but this is what they all kind of look like. It's a pretty expansive manual because you have a lot going on with that backpack. Uh, the first part of the manual here just details how to assemble the G-Self and then full color for most of the backpack, which is really nice. You know, I, I don't really understand why Bandai didn't release the rest of the packs. There are a few packs that they never released. The Reflector Pack was a P Bandai release, which is one of my favorite designs with the purple. It, it's just irritating. If Reconquista and G came out today, I would imagine the Z, G Self would be a standard release and then every other pack would be P Bandai. That's how it would work today. So I guess we should be happy that this, at least the perfect pack, is a standard release. So on the back of the manual, you get some more shots that you've seen on the side of the box, but a little bit more story and how those packs are used within the universe, if you can read Japanese. One really neat thing that a lot of the G-Self kits come with on their manual is some concept art. And I think this concept art is really remarkable. I really, really like it. Um, maybe I'll put a note here as to who drew that. So you've seen the box, you've seen the manual, the runners and the stickers and now it's time for me to build it and review it and show it to you really looking forward to this review and i'm very excited to build this kit so i do have one more thing before we go it's a little quiz uh, you'll see on the left here i have this little guy and i have a quiz for you so let us know in the comments below who this is and what he has in common with the g self perfect pack the first person to correctly do this in the comments below wins a no prize. And if you're not familiar with what a no prize is, it's a prize that is uh, nothing. You get, uh, you get cred and you get my respect. So keep it tuned here to the Gunpla Network. Here you'll be able to find all the latest news on the Gunpla world and unboxings, reviews, interviews, all kinds of behind the scenes 
for Gundam's stores and everything else. So click subscribe, and as always, everyone, keep on building.